Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 18. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, that I the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say, You're John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And so he said to them, the disciples, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said to them, Blessed are you, which is very interesting to me. He mentioned this name, Shimon Bariona. That's in Hebrew. Wow, you can speak Hebrew here. Well, you can learn from the internet, you know. So easy to learn from, you know, language these days. You can just go and Google the word and... You know, just hear the sound. So, so he said, blessed are you, Simon or Shimon Baryona. Why am I uh, saying this to you, the Hebrew equivalence of this name? Because it's so significant that Jesus mentioned the word Shimon Baryona. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. The word Shimon, Simon, Shimon in the Hebrew is from the root word Shama. The one who can hear. So the word Shimon is the past tense of to hear. That means he heard. And then the word Baryona or Bar Jonah, son of Jonah. The word Bar is son and the Jonah is you know, dove. And dove is always used as a symbol of the Spirit. Can you say amen to that? So in this literal translation of this name, Jesus is just saying, you are blessed. You, person who can hear from the Spirit. You are blessed because you can hear from the Spirit, Shimon Baryona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. You know, it's interesting also that Jesus never actually teaches his disciples at the very beginning that he is the Messiah. I am the Son of God. I am the Messiah. You cannot, you cannot see that actually in his teaching at the very first stage. He let the Father reveal it to His disciple. Yeah. Unlike, you know, some religious group who is just declaring, I am the appointed Son of God. Eh? No, Jesus never did that. He actually let the Spirit reveal it to the disciples. And Jesus said, Blessed are those who can hear by the Spirit. Can you say amen to that? Blessed are you who can hear from the Spirit. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. The things of God are not being revealed by human wisdom. The things of God are not revealed by man. It is revealed by the Spirit of God. Can you say amen to that? So anything that concerns about your life and your future and the spirit things comes from God. And so he said, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And then, you know, he said, And I also say to you, you are Peter. So at first, he mentioned the word Shimon Barjona. Okay, you can hear from the spirit. And because you can hear from the Spirit, your name now is Peter. Because a person who can hear by the Spirit will become stable like a stone, like a rock in his life. Can you say amen to that? Come on, let's give a clap offering to the Lord for that. If you can hear from the Spirit, stability in life. Stability in life. I tell you, stability and strength will come upon you. And so, Jesus said, 
and you, Peter. Okay? And I, I also say to you, Peter, that you, that you are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church. And on this rock, I will build my church. That means that Jesus is building the church through revelation. Amen. And if you are going to be built as a church, as, and, and we have understood here, the church is not a building. Can you say amen to that? You'll get out in this building. This is not already a church. This is just a building, okay, of the church. And you're the church. And if the Holy Spirit, I mean, it's Jesus, is building the church, then he's building the church by revelation. Amen. He's building you by the Spirit. And if you have the ability to hear by the Spirit, if you are being led by the Spirit of God, you are, you are being built by Jesus Christ. Can you say amen to that? Okay. I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. A person who is led by the Spirit of God and who knows how to hear from the Spirit of God, the enemy, the enemy cannot overcome him. You will always outsmart the enemy. You will always take a sabotage over the enemy because you know in advance what's the, the leading of the Spirit of God. Can you say amen to that? So, Simon, Shimon, a person who knows, I mean, who can hear from the Spirit of God. Another uh, disciple in 1 John chapter 1. In fact, this uh, disciple, John the Beloved, is very close to Jesus. That he always, you know, uh, take uh, a nap, probably, you know, on the chest of Jesus. He's always there, very close to Jesus, very close to Jesus. In fact, uh, the disciples, the 12 of them, they were chosen by Jesus. Right? 12 disciples were chosen by Jesus. And all of them were uh, discipled by Jesus. Out from the crowd, in fact, out, out, out from the crowd, there is 40 disciples. Out from the 40 disciples, 12 were chosen by Jesus. Okay? So these 12 were chosen by Jesus. But there are three who was chosen. They were never chosen by Jesus, but these three decided to be closer to Jesus. And who are they? Peter, James, and John. Let me tell you this. Every time you chose to be closer unto the Lord, you will see more. It has to be your decision. It has to be your pursuit. It has to be your desire. So these three shows to be closer to Jesus. Out of three, there is more closer than the three. And that is John. John chose to be more closer than the three. And the more that you're getting closer unto the Lord, the more you see things. Can you say amen to that? And it is John the Beloved who wrote the book of Revelation. The one who can see the future. In fact, it's not the future. Even the new heaven and the new earth, he saw. And what's the reason? He can hear from the Spirit. And what's the reason he can hear from the Spirit? He's so close with the Lord Jesus. Amen. First John chapter 1, verse 4. John said, That which from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. The life was manifested, and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you the eternal life which was from the Father and was manifested to us. That which we have what? Seen and heard, we declare to you. Let me tell you this. People will listen to you if you are sharing things that you have heard from the Spirit of God. Amen. If you have experienced uh, things from the Spirit of God, if you have experienced a miracle from the Lord Jesus, this is the things that you will declare to people. That you also have fellowship with us. Truly our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus. And these things we write to you that your joy, say joy, your joy may be full. You know, joyful Christmas they're saying. But real, real joy will come from your fellowship with the Lord Jesus. From the experience of hearing the Lord and experience from listening from, the, from God. 
First Chronicle chapter 12 in verse 32. And this is a verse that tells us that wisdom is not actually a gathering of information. The wisdom is the ability to hear from the Spirit and then that you will know what to do in a situation. In fact, you have to realize this in life, my dear friend. You don't have to know everything that will happen next year. What you need to know is to train yourself to hear from the Spirit of God. Because if you can train yourself to hear from the Spirit of God, then you will know what to do whenever the Holy Spirit will tell you what to do. You don't have to know everything. You know, the devil has plans and skins, but, you know, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Can you say amen to that? So don't be afraid of, oh, the devil and the devil and the devil. No, no, no. You have the Spirit of God in the inside of you. And look at this. In 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32, the sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times, to know. Sabi natin, to know. Again, the word to know is shama. It is not something that you know by knowledge, but you hear from the Spirit. To know what Israel, what? Ought to do. That means if you hear from the Spirit of God, whatever the situation is in life, you will know what to do. You will not be afraid, whatever storms and problems and sickness, glory to God. Whatever it is that the enemy will try to, to do to destroy you, you will know how to respond. You will know how to decide. You will know what to speak. You will know how to react. It's not something like, oh, I'm here and you're surprised. And, no, no, the Holy Spirit will help you. Can you say amen to that? The Holy Spirit will help you. The one who knows the future. In fact, the one who created your future. The one whose name is Alpha and Omega is inside of you. And that's Jesus. Come on. Woo! Hallelujah. I can hear from the Spirit of God. I can hear from the Lord Jesus, the Alpha and the Omega. The one who said, it is done, it is finished. The one who says, in this world you will have temptations, trials, and tribulation. But be of good cheer because I have what? I have overcome the world. And that's Jesus inside of me. Glory to God. So, these are the people who can hear from the Spirit. If you can hear from the Spirit of God, and if you can hear that the Holy Spirit will tell you all is well. All your finances, all is well. Your family, all is well. Your health, all is well. Well, with long life, He will satisfy you. Can you say amen to that? Amen. If the doctor will give you a bad report, well, I will just believe on the good report that Jesus is my healer. Can you say amen to that? If the bank will say you are bankrupt, well, I just say I hear from the Holy Spirit and I hear from the Lord Jesus who came here to give me prosperity and blessing. Amen. amen. Can you say amen to that? No, my, 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 my pocket is empty because my wealth... It's not enough to contain in my, well, in, in my pocket. It is hidden in the heavenly places. And I can always get it by faith. Hallelujah. So if you can hear that by the Spirit, all is well. 